Hey guys, it's Grace. Welcome to my channel. Today is the day. If you guys know me personally, my laptop died. So today we're gonna go to SM Mega Mall and we're gonna buy myself a new laptop. For whatever reason, here in the Philippines, they don't accept education pricing like in all places. So you had to go to a specific location instead of the place right next to us. Check out that Jeep. Welcome to the Philippines. <laughs> that guy just walked off, what the fuck? <laughs> So we finally made it to Mega Mall. Hopefully you can hear this audio. I guess we'll find out. We have no idea where the Power Max Center is. So we're on our way to us the information desk. Oh, tends to work pretty great. So this is an absolutely massive mall. Hi there, National Power Max Center in New York. Fourth floor, which side? Lisa, okay, thank you. There it is. It's actually a pretty big store, not gonna lie. There it is. Ooh. Here is what I want the gold MacBook Air because look at that color. How could you resist? Here are the accessories they have um, for the Mac. I will probably need to get one of like these things because the new MacBook Air doesn't have um, the USB-A anymore, they only have USB-C and they only have two ports so you really need to make do by getting up um, little dongle shit, little dongle things. For a life hack, if you need to charge your phone Go to an Apple store. They always have like these things or um, somewhere to plug in your phone. So we've been here for about like 30 minutes now. They're giving me a really hard time about proving my education status. So mini rant about that one. Basically, if you're coming to the Power Max Center to get education pricing on any device, you might want to actually bring an enrollment record. Update. It's been an hour since I got here, and they finally accepted my student ID for like extra shit. But they're taking this sweet ass time when it comes to actually giving me a quote and giving me what I want. So bear in mind, if you're gonna come here, you should one, like you previously mentioned, bring a enrollment record. But also, secondly, you should also allocate a lot of time. Like. Eventually, I did manage to buy it and leave. There she is. Only to go to another Power Max Center, this time in SMRA, to buy the dongle I forgot to buy. Here, they had a much more limited selection of accessories, but they sold this USB C drive that was a whopping 3,500 pesos. Obviously, I decided to stick to conventional USBs for now. I got home pretty late at night, so I was filming this unboxing part around midnight, so bear with me on the lighting. But here's the little dongle I got. It is the Moshi USB-C multimedia adapter. It retails for 3,190 pesos locally at the Power Max Center, which is the equivalent of about 94 Australian dollars. This is how it looks like. It's got some warranty information on the back. Me struggling to get it out of the packaging. There we go. On the side, it's got two USB A ports, an HDMI port, and also an SD card slot. It's really portable and lightweight, and so far it's working really well. Now, on to what everyone actually wants to see. 
this is the base model 2019 13 inch macbook air in gold i'm using this mostly for uni so i don't need anything much more powerful for whatever reason they give you the cardboard box the macbook box comes in so here i am just getting rid of it it's even got the macbook air writing on it and it's embossed in gold and there she is ta-da grown spanking new and still covered in plastic oh wait yep just figured out how to take it out while taking it out better tell you how much this costs in the philippines this costs just under sixty-five thousand pesos but if you're a uni student you can get a six thousand peso discount and it goes just under 59. If you've ever gotten an Apple product before, you know how tough it is to get this thing open. I don't know how the unboxes on YouTube do it so quick. I had to edit several seconds of struggling to open this. But here it is, in the flesh. There's the front, there's the back, and the front again, and putting that to the side so we can see what's in the box. It comes with the new USB-C cable thing. It also comes with this envelope. Inside is some instructions that nobody reads and the gold apple stickers. Underneath that is the power block. I'm going to have to change the part that plugs into the wall into an Australian plug for my old Mac, but I do like how this one folds in. It saves a lot of space. Setting that aside, and with a little change of angle, we can open this guy up. I have realized though that there is a lot of plastic packaging with this. Maybe that's something Apple should, you know, try to reduce on. But anyway, let's open this thing up. As you can see, it actually powers on immediately without me having like clicked on anything. Let's take out the silver sheet. It takes about 10 minutes to set up a new Mac, relatively simple. And immediately I got to set up Touch ID, which I'm demonstrating for you right now. Before I go, this would not be an a complete unboxing video without a tool. As you can see, it's got a lot less bezels than the old Air. On the left, it's got two USB-C ports and on the right, there is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. It's also got the improved butterfly keyboard that I hope to God won't fail me. Anyway, that's the end of the video. And if you liked it, Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos coming soon. See you guys later.